What's up, guys? Welcome back to Supreme Micah. Guys, so in this upload, what I want to talk about overall is the key differences between grass-fed beef and beef that would actually be raised or cow that will actually be raised cattle from eating actual grain. Now, you may find these different products in many different stores. You can find this from an array of different stores. You definitely are paying more in price in regards to purchasing grass-fed beef. So, before we get started, you need to know that grass-fed beef usually consists of a cow that is actually raised, not eating grains, but actually eating grass. You may be wondering exactly why someone would actually purchase grass-fed beef. Well, there are a few different key characteristics as to why, one being because of the actual fact that it actually may have a lot more nutrients in regards to what they need, in regards to whatever it is that's health related because of nutrients and grass-fed beef, that may be the reason of why someone would actually purchase grass-fed beef over a beef that was actually raised by eating grains. It's also important to understand too that just because you have a package of beef or just because you see that within the actual grocery store and it says grass fed, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was 100% grass fed. And what I mean is it doesn't mean that that cattle or that cow, the entire diet may not consisted of grass in its entirety, okay? So one of the main reasons why someone would actually purchase this as well is because it likely has less fat and also less calories. So in regards to the nutrients, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're gonna get into that a little bit later, but overall, grass-fed beef, yes, it definitely will have less calories. It may not be a lot of calories that may differ from that of a cattle that was raised eating grain, but you may see some differences in between the amount of fat and also the calories in regards to those two specific types of beef. Now, one key interesting thing that you should actually understand about grass-fed beef is that it actually has less monosaturated fats. Now, you may be wondering exactly what monosaturated fats are. Well, these are specific types of fats which you can actually find in olive oil and avocado. These are actually healthier fats, okay? These specific types of fat is something that you would actually want. It's a healthier alternative, okay? It actually lowers your weight and it also lowers health-related risk. So grass-fed beef, yes, it has fewer monosaturated fats. These specific types of fats you want, you definitely want within your diet. As I mentioned before, it's healthier. Now in regards to fat and in regards to the specific type of beef that you're buying, the FDA actually has regulations in regards to the amount of fat that can actually be found in a lot of these products. There are many specific type of fats that are within foods. A lot of them are actually unhealthy and some of them are actually healthy for you or it depends on the amount of fat that you're consuming overall. I've mentioned about the amount of fat or the fat consumption in regards to your diet and how that may relate to it being unhealthy, or if you were attempting to build muscle, previously created content surrounding that actual topic and area. Yes, if you're eating fat excessively, it definitely can be bad for you, but in regards to what your physical goals are, depending on the amount of saturated fat that you're actually consuming in your diet, it may vary depending on whatever your fitness goals are. You always hear it in the media about the amount of fat that you're consuming, if it's saturated or unsaturated fat, or how unhealthy that can actually be for your diet. So, although Grass-fed beef actually has less monosaturated fats, which is a fat that you actually want to consume. It actually has more healthier fats than something that you would find in a beef that was actually raised from eating grains. Fats, which include omega-3 fats. Omega-3 fats pretty much can actually provide essential brain development and also lower anxiety. So these are key characteristics in regards to these specific types of beef. 
Another key difference that you actually want to also think about is that cows that are actually raised eating grain actually may be pumped with antibiotics and also hormones. Now, this is a broad topic and I definitely want to cover this in later videos and content. If it was antibiotics and also hormones that you were attempting to avoid within beef, it's not necessarily grass-fed beef that you typically want to go for. It's actually organic beef. Organic beef overall is something that you would probably want to go for if that was what your goal was in regards to avoiding antibiotics and also hormones which can actually be found in beef. So just to review actually what we've spoken about so far is one, in regards to monosaturated fat, grass-fed beef actually has less monosaturated fat. These are fats which can actually be found in avocado and also olive oil, okay? Now in regards to healthier fats, grass-fed beef actually has more healthier fats. Those specific type of fats that can actually be found more concentrated in grass-fed beef is omega-3 fats, okay? And as I mentioned before, that actually contributes to brain development, lower anxiety overall. If you're attempting to avoid foods such as beef, then you would definitely want to go for organic raised products because that may actually have no antibiotics and also hormones. Now keep in mind that I've made material in regards to beef and also the characteristics of how that can actually contribute to your muscle mass. So I've mentioned before in regards to beef and the percentage that you can actually find of fat within beef. I typically like to go for a beef that actually has less fat. I've done some research and you can actually find this within the description of my video in regards to consuming a beef that actually has less fat. You actually may be consuming a beef that actually has more protein but it also actually has less calories. So if you were attempting to, let's say, build more lean muscle, or if you were attempting to maintain your actual muscle, then a beef that actually had less fat may be something that would be great for you. Otherwise, someone would actually buy a beef that may have been concentrated with more fat because that's something that they wanted more of so that they can actually, let's say, build more muscle mass. So in regards to, let's say, a diet that let's say consisted of containing a beef which was let's say less or more fat I would say go watch my video in regards to me actually explaining and reviewing exactly something about that scenario or topic. I also suggest you to actually go view one of my videos which I covered about fat because a lot of people for some reason feel like fat overall is bad for you but you overall need fat for your bodily energy and actual function of movement. It provides energy for your body such as carbohydrates do. And a lot of this is actually pretty interesting too, especially in regards to the keto diet. As I mentioned before, I'll leave a link within the description of this video for you to actually go view that. Guys, now in regards to the quantity or the amount of red meat that you're consuming, the topics around that I also covered in some earlier content too, which you can actually find within those same links. So I definitely recommend that. Over time, and I'll give a brief description of this, over time you definitely want to watch the amount of red meat that you're consuming because that may lead to some health related risk. It's up to you to be able to monitor that. Guys, as always, I appreciate you for tuning into this channel. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and also subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.